Hey, good morning, church. We want to plan to come to you with some, a little bit of a spiritual feeding, uh, maybe at the midweek, like Wednesdays, or this one's coming to you on Thursday, and also on Sundays. Uh, as we are not able to meet due to the government's recommendation, then we want to make sure that you do have a little bit of a spiritual pick-me-up, a little bit of spiritual feeding as we go through the week. And so I want you to think about this title. What will you do with your small opportunity? You know, I would guess that when you were younger, you wanted to be like someone. It could be someone uh, that was an actor or actress, maybe an athlete, maybe somebody that had a lot of money. Uh, it could be even an older person that was close to you, but for whatever reason, they probably did something big, or at least big in your opinion. You know, something that maybe deserves some fame or notoriety. And as we go through life, I, I know there's going to be people that we're going to be thinking about, but what about the people that we may see that are not doing a lot of great things, a lot of big things, a lot of things that are going to be having notoriety. Maybe a lot of maybe there are lots of people out there that are doing a lot of small things that are making great impacts, and that's kind of where our emphasis is today, in regards to that. And so I want you to think about this quote by Sally Cook. It says, "Great opportunities to help others seldom come, but small ones surround us every day." Think about that for a second. Great opportunities to help others seldom come but small ones surround us every day. A few years ago, I worked at the hospital here in the town that we're at, and I had the opportunity to go through that orientation, as most new employees do. And our CEO at that time was emphasizing customer service. He was saying, you know, even if you're going to be late for your own meeting, go ahead and help that customer out because it's going to make a great impression on them, a big impression on them, because of the fact that you took time out of your day to help them. And so I kept that in mind. I was always looking out for people who maybe needed it. And so about a year and a half into the time that I was there, there was there happened to be a lady that was in an area of the hospital that normally people that weren't employees weren't in. Uh, and so it's kind of a confusing area. It wasn't, uh, again, it wasn't a normal area for non-employees to be there. And so I asked her if she needed help and she said yes. And so I took her back to where she was going. She was there for a training, and she had just taken the wrong hallway and a wrong elevator to get where she was at. Once we got there, she was very gracious of the fact that I took time out of my day to help her. You know, was that a situation in which it deserved any kind of notoriety? No, it really didn't at all. It was just kindness. It was just helping someone out. But to someone who was lost, someone who really didn't know where they were at, maybe felt stressed because they were late, it probably made a great impact. It probably made that big, in, a big impact on them to be able to say, hey, someone took the time out to help me. And so I want you to think about that and think about the opportunities that are around us every day. Though you may have grown up wanting to do something famous or wanting to be someone famous, the idea there's all kinds of opportunities around us to do something great that may be actually small in the, in what we are actually doing, but the impact is going to be a lot bigger. And so I want you to think about as we do that, we are not doing it to put the spotlight on us, but we are doing it to put the spotlight on God. And so with that, then we need to think about a little bit about humility in that. And so Philippians chapter 2 and verse 3 is one of the first uh, scriptures that we're going to be looking at. It says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but rather in humility to value others above yourselves. And also Colossians chapter 3 and verse 12, it says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, patience, and gentleness. Now those are important things to think about in regards to when we are doing things for others and we want the spotlight on God is to be compassionate, kind, humili have humility, uh, be gentle, and also be patient. Also in uh, Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 33, it says, Wisdom instruction is to fear the Lord, and humility comes before honor. You know, remember that quote that I said earlier by Sally, Qu Sally Cook? It said, Great opportunities to help others seldom come, but small ones surround us every day. I want you to think about that. You know, what opportunities are you going to have around you that you can be taken advantage of in order to make a great difference in someone's life? You know, in this time with the coronavirus, it's going to be a time of confusion, anxiousness, and a lot of unknowns. There's many things that we can do that are small things for others. Maybe it's buying a few gift cards and handing them out for 
random acts of kindness to people. Or maybe using those gift cards to help out people who actually have a need. Maybe it's struggling to feed their family. Or maybe you're doing it just to help out some small businesses. As We cannot meet in many businesses because of the ban, because that gathering size is too big, and so they may have less patrons than normal. Maybe it's using some talents that you have. Maybe you have a talent of a mechanical talent or medical talent or skill set that you can help out others that's going to make a big impact on them. Maybe it's sending a text of encouragement or praying for them. You know, there's all kinds of areas that we can do. Maybe it's sharing videos or memes of inspiration, especially during this time, that can encourage others. Or maybe it's a video like this where maybe they don't have an opportunity to have that spiritual pick-me-up due to the church that they go to, or maybe they don't go to any. And so you're going to be able to share that with them in that in these times. So I want you to use this time of the coronavirus to take advantage of the small opportunities that are coming to you on a regular basis and use that to glorify God. Hey, we'll see you soon. Have a great week.